Dimensioning a straight line can be done from the home ribbon or the measurement ribbon. Click the dimension line command or press DL on the keyboard and select the first point. Click the end point and then drag the cursor away from the line and click again to place the dimension line. It is simple and we've made it even easier. Let's talk about units and precision. You can set the default for units and precision, the number of places to the right of the decimal. As long as automatic is selected as the units in the tool panel, your dimension unit will be locked to default. This means when you change your default units, the dimension label will also change automatically. To use a locked dimensional unit, click the dimension line command and change automatic to the unit of your choice and draw your dimension line. This dimension will not change automatically. The tool panel allows you to modify the display of the dimension line in text in size, color, thickness, offset, and more. Measuring an angle is also a three-point process. Click Dimension Angle, or DA on your keyboard. Click the vertex of the angle, then click the endpoint of each ray. The tool panel allows you to add, change, or remove the angle fill color. You can also flip the angle to show the exterior angle. Dimensioning the radius of a circle requires one operation. Click the Dimension Radius command, or DR on your keyboard, and hover over the desired circle. It will snap to the center, so click the circle and then click where to place the label. An ellipse has several radii and may require several operations to fully dimension it. Same as before, hover over the ellipse and note the grip points. Click the desired point. Repeat for the other radius. If you want to show the length of a curved shape's overall dimension, click the Object Length command, or OL on your keyboard, and select the curve. Click again to place the label. The label box can be filled with color and surrounded by a border that is rounded or squared. The arrow can be hidden, attached to a certain corner of the label, or be unlocked so the label attachment can float depending on the position of the label. Use the grips to move the label or arrow point. To dimension a closed area, click the Dimension Area, or MA, on your keyboard, and click the first point of the area, then each successive point of the enclosed space. Double-click the last point or press Enter. The label appears in the center. The Area Tool panel has additional options. You can adjust transparency to show objects underneath. Click Settings to adjust text font, style, and size. To move the text out of the area, click Create Label and click where you want the label to be. This will give you the same label options as all other dimension text panels. Let's say you want to expand the area, though. We'll show that from start to finish. Fill an area as before. Now right-click and select Add point. Keep adding points and drag them to the new area to describe. Create a label, change the fill, and note dimensioning is of the entire area that is now orange. Thank you for joining us to learn about dimensioning in Faro Zone 2D. Please visit Faro Academy for online courses and YouTube for more tutorial videos.